hi guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial will be on how to cut an overlap dress so it is only the upper parts that will be an overlap that we overlap on each other the front side so the lower part will be a normal skirt so before we get started guys if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do that now click on the subscribe button and subscribe also turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time i upload a new video thank you so let's get started now i've drafted my basic body pattern right here so i have all my measurement this is my starting line this is my ham hole line while this is the under bust line i have a detailed video on how to draft the basic body pattern which i'll put the link in the description box below kindly check it out so i have my shoulder measurement here which is seven and a half inches and from the starting line to the armhole line i have eight inches and then i have 15 inches to the under bust line inclusive of half inch to join it to the lower part the skirt part so I have 15 inches right here for my horizontal measurement as well my bus circumference measurement is 40 inches so divided by 4 that is 10 inches which is what I have here and also inclusive of the quarter measurement of my waist which is what I also have right here this is my shoulder slope and the neckline I'll be working with I'm working with a neck width of three and a half inches and a neck depth of five inches so before i go on now i'll have to add one inch allowance to the side that is to the bust and the waist um measurements so which is what i'll do now so this is my seam side seam allowance now i'm going to cut it out before i fix the overlap area so guys this is the neck width and this is the neck depth so i will it will be a v neckline just like you can see in the picture i'll connect it this way using my ham hook cuff so guys this is it right here so this is the midpoint of the neckline the neck depth so right here i will Go in by one and a half inches. Sorry. And also go up by one and a half inches. So I'll connect it from the neck depth here. The five inches I came down with as neck depth. I'll connect it to this point. You can bring it this way or this way it depends on how you want it and since i'm bringing it slanting it this way i'll be using only this part this part of the bodies will be discarded so i'll cut it out now so this part is discarded this part is what we're going to use so i'll place it on the fabric now to cut two of these one for each side so guys i've placed the uh, pattern paper on the fabric and the fabric is on fold so if you are cutting out on your fabric make sure the right sides are facing each other or the wrong sides are facing each other because if you don't place it that way in the right way you will have two contradicting um parts 
for the front the overlap part will not align so you have to let the right side face each other this way so i'm cutting it out now and for the shoulder area i did not put my shoulder um, allowance seam allowance there so i've added about half inch for the shoulder area to join the shoulders together the front shoulder and the back shoulder so guys this is the look of the overlap can you see it's right here that's why i said the wrong sides or the right side should face each other so that you have a perfect overlap this way with each right side facing up so can you see it here so this is what we have let me turn it can you see so there will be no darts for this front part of this dress I'm making for you, but if you want to put your darts, you can put it from your pattern and also add the darts allowance you're taking to your sides. You get it now. And also, if you are putting a lining, if you have enough fabric of the same fabric, you can use that same fabric to turn it. You can use it as your lining. And if you are not putting lining as I will be doing, I'll just tape or holding this side here i'll just sew it in in this manner just to give it a neat finishing at that edge the back as well will just be your normal basic bodies with your princess darts or your normal waist darts so guys after adding your lining to it or if you're not adding your lining and you are just finish it up the edges right here you use your stitches to hold it down from the neckline here down to this place and also the lower parts that will be joined to the skirt or your flare you will use your stitches to hold it down right here so that brings us to the end of today's tutorial if this tutorial has been helpful kindly give this video a giant thumbs up thank you for joining me I will see you in my next video. Bye.